Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a point by serial correlation in SPSS. Now, a point by serial correlation is probably one of the lesser popular correlations that you hear about or read about, uh, but it's still quite useful, uh, and I think it's particularly useful when you want to gain insights into the relationships or associations between uh, different types of analyses, which I'm going to do in another video. A point by serial correlation is the correlation estimated on data where one variable is measured on an interval ratio scale and the other variable is measured on a nominal scale with two levels. So it's a dichotomous variable. Uh, Pearson correlation, as it's traditionally applied, is usually applied on two variables measured on an interval ratio scale. So you might have something like uh, age and income generated. So older people generate more income typically, so then you get a Pearson correlation to estimate that. Now age and income are both measured on interval ratio scales. But what if you have one variable measured on a interval ratio scale and the other variable measured on a nominal scale with two levels? So it's a dichotomous variable. Well, you would use a point by serial correlation to estimate that correlation between the two variables. In SPSS, to do that, uh, there isn't a special area to do it. You actually use the Pearson correlation to estimate the point by serial correlation because point by serial correlations are a special case of the Pearson correlation. So what I've got is an example here that is uh, derived from a real study by Brody et al. where they examined differences between smokers and non-smokers in regional gray matter volumes and densities. I've simulated data to roughly approximate the results that they got. Uh, so their hypothesis was that smokers might differ in uh, brain size. And what they ultimately did were t-tests on this. And I'm just going to actually use these data to do a point by serial correlation instead. Uh, so we've got the one variable here, frontal brain volume, measured on interval ratio scale. This is cubic centimeters, left hemisphere, I believe, only. And then we've got group, where zero is a non-smoker. And ones are labeled for smokers. All right, and uh, sample size is roughly equal. I think it's 17 and 19. Uh, so slightly more smokers, I believe. All right, so to run this point by serial correlation, I go into Analyze, Correlate, Bivariates, the same way. I've already done the analysis, so the variables are already in there, but typically it would be like that. You put your interval ratio variable, your group variable, and Pearson correlation is um, selected as a default. You leave it like that. And then you click OK. And then you get your correlation. And the correlation is negative 0.468. So rounded and negative 0.47. Uh, so what this means is, is that um, lower levels of the uh, brain volume, lower levels of brain volume are associated with higher levels of the group membership variable. And you recall that smokers are ones, and a one is higher than zero. So that's the nature of the negative association here. So you can, you can state it alternatively. You can say, as group membership goes up from zero to one, from non-smoker to smoker, brain volume actually decreases. It goes down to uh, it goes down, it goes lower. Now to take a look at this in a scatter plot, you can go into legacy dialogues and it'll give us a little bit more insight into what this correlation is actually telling us. And I've actually already got it in there, I actually got them the reverse way. So you go group into x-axis and brain volume into y-axis and it'll give us that downward slope in the uh, correlation. Actually it doesn't go there automatically, I just have to click on this and I get uh, my downward slope. So that's the nature of the negative association. As you go to ones, there's only actually two levels here, zero and one, you get lower levels of brain volume than you do in the smokers, than the non-smokers, rather. And that's a point by serial correlation as performed in SPSS. Thanks for listening.